welcome to Galata Plus. Today we're going to be talking about Anucharan's Pani Kuti. You may remember Anucharan from his superb first film Kirumi, which he co-wrote with M. Mani Kandan. It was one of the earliest ordinary man versus the system stories and the story was narrated from a very unusual and very interesting angle. Anucharan's new film, again co-written with Mani Kandan, is called Pani Kuti and yes, it is about a Pani Kuti, a piglet, which is a stand-in for the themes of the film, the central theme and that's the fact that we still choose to believe in superstitions and again like in Kirimi we have a familiar premise but narrated from a very unusual and very interesting angle but this time it doesn't work Karuna Karan plays the protagonist a man for whom nothing is going right his introduction scene has him describing his father as a man who never worked for a living you know he just kind of lived off his father's wealth, that is his grandfather's wealth. He says that it was his mother who always encouraged him. These are minor character traits that never come back in the film in any insightful way or any meaningful way. There is an element of randomness throughout Panikuti and not necessarily in a nice way. To make his life better, our protagonist finds himself following the orders of a god man. And a little later, we meet Yogi Babu whose situation is similar in the sense that he too is made to do something irrational like the god man's orders. The film that Therefore, is a satire on superstition and it tries a number of types of comedy. There is a slapstick we see in a police station or when a TV set falls on someone. There are lines with rhyming words like uh, Mattamana Arlu and Mutton. There are visual gags and then there is the absurd premise itself. We have heard of a wild goose chase. Here we have a wild piglet chase. It all sounds funny and I'm sure some of it must have sounded much funnier on paper but the acting styles are off, sometimes loud sometimes underplayed you don't get that crack timing you need for comedy the rhythms pacing staging they don't add up to a cohesive experience the scenes look like bits and pieces patched together by the end the messages are actually articulated as if we could not have guessed them from the earlier scenes and even at two hours the film seems stretched there are a few mild laughs but the main takeaway is how true that old showbiz statement is Dying is easy, comedy is extremely hard. And that's it for Panikuti. If you like this video, do subscribe to Galata Plus and I'll see you soon at the movies.